Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see love in the general for the sign of Taurus for week ahead. So watch this video if you are a Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or if you are dealing with one, keep in mind these are general readings so it may or may not resonate. If it do not resonate, do not try to deliberately fit in, check in any other placement. If you want to have a personal reading, link is in the description. If you want to follow my Instagram, the link is in the description and you will get all information about Law of Attraction, Manifestation, so many daily doses of motivation, you should definitely check it out and uh, yeah you can also check out my crystal store the link is in the description so yeah now let us see messages for taurus if you don't already know i'm a taurus moon and venus myself so i get you guys all right i totally totally get you guys <laughs> so yeah that is also one reason why we are very consistent on the channel with taurus videos yeah so and other signs hate us for that but we don't give a fuck right all right <laughs> so now let us see messages for taurus and by the way, happy birthday, Taurus. It's your season. Wow. And then next season is my season, the Gemini season. I'm a Gemini sun. <laughs> yeah. So let us see messages for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What do my Taurus need to know, please? What do my Taurus need to know? Oops. So we have the card of self-acceptance. So some of you... Um, you are maybe having a hard time accepting the things that the you know like your own personality it's like you have a hard time accepting things you are having a hard time accepting your own personality and you know uh, because I also teach abundance and manifestation and all of that until unless you accept your own reality and until unless you start behaving like like your own self you will never be able to unlock abundance in your life like that's the first thing most people ask and they hire these gurus and mentors and you know they go for listening all these motivational lectures and all of that and they are like looking for um, you know tactics they are like what do i do and how can i become more abundant and the answer is very simple that you just have to behave in like your own self if you have any innate gifts and talents like you could be an artist like just because you, in your family everybody is a doctor or an engineer you don't have to become that if you're an artist own that accept the fact that yes i am an artist for example everybody in my family is is either into a job or business i'm the only person who's into a cult and i owned it and you know that is the reason which has let me connect with so many amazing people on internet like you right so that is how you will connect with your soul tribe when you will self when, when you will come into self-acceptance otherwise you'll be just living somebody else's life and that's that's going to be horrible because no matter how much money you will make you will always feel empty within if you're not living your own self right so this card says nothing is more exhausting than endlessly working on yourself when you offer your whole being fully to love self-acceptance arises spontaneously may i rest in your oneness so now is the time to instead of like following somebody's footsteps to success all right like you can learn from them but do not like copy them right most people mix the two they try to hire a guru and then they start copying them if you copy somebody, you become their second copy. You will never be the original person. And you can never be as good as the original person, right? And if you are not as good as them, you will never be successful as, as them. So stop doing that. Like, own yourself. Own your personality. Own your gifts, right? And no matter how crazy it may sound to anybody, like, for example, I am spiritual. I also cuss. That is my personality. And there are so many people in my comment section who be like, I like you, girl, because you cuss. <laughs> and that's okay right and there are so many people who will hate me for that fuck them who cares right so yeah some, some of you you really need to focus on the self-acceptance factor in your life because you're not doing it that's why you're just getting this feeling of emptiness and you're not able to achieve the goal that you want to achieve and you are trying to find that disconnect outside of you but that actually lies within you all right give me one more card for Taurus give me one more card for Taurus please and we have divine timing wow this is beautiful and again see self-love like i see that this month is more about just owning your shit owning your own personality that's about it right and then we have the card of divine timing which says the divine bring things in the timing that we need nothing comes before we are prepared nor leaves too early may i always trust your perfect and holy timing dear lord so some of you 
uh, you've been losing patience over over something and I think this card came in the last reading also I don't know if it was Gemini or Taurus but it did come in one of the readings and it was the same exact message some of you you are waiting for some something to happen and it's taking time and you're like pressing on it you're like when is this gonna happen when is this gonna happen and you're like kind of pissed over the fact but you need to understand that nothing is going to happen before it's the due time and it's not happening because there's this disconnect within yourself maybe you're not able to accept yourself there is a disconnect within your own energy and that's why things are taking time so fix that instead of fixing uh, instead of looking for why things are not happening and why universe is taking so time you need to understand within your own self as to what is missing in me what do i need to fix in me right and then how can i improve improve myself so ask yourself all these questions all right give me message for taurus please what is the present energy for taurus what is happening give me message for taurus so we have two of pentacles wow some of you you're very focused on your money um your opportunities some of you you're juggling multiple things we literally have the emperor sorry yeah the emperor here wow with the hermit card looks like there's a lot of soul searching happening some of you are literally hiring mentors teachers you're trying to learn you're trying to grow you're trying to expand if you are recently taking some sort of courses and you're doing some like inner work all right if you're following somebody and you're trying to you know do this inner work then let me tell you that you will be majorly rewarded for that like literally look how you're going to go from two of pentacle to eight of pentacle because you're doing all this soul searching and i see recently you've started taking um you know like responsibility of your life so in recent times you have like finally realized that your life depends on you and nobody's going to come and save you you have to be your own savior and that's why you're trying to focus on the solutions and not the problems and that is going to reward you i see there is something money wise financially uh something about your you know stability long term and all of that you are working upon that and i see you'll be doing really good the stability the money the next level that you're looking in your life i would predict two to eight months next two to eight months are going to be very prominent for you so keep doing the work that you're doing because it's happening in the divine timing all right your wishes your your goals regarding your finances your stability your next level some of you it's not even the money it's like the next level money the next level abundance the next level stability that you're focusing upon you might be an entrepreneur you have businesses or you just want to grow to the next level like there's an urge within you which is telling you that you're meant for more i see you will be achieving that because you literally have the emperor card here and what are you talking about emperor all right what else what else for taurus the king of wands see how driven how passionate you are you're definitely very passionate towards something you're giving your 100% you're doing work and i also feel like because you're so motivated in all these things there are some people around you who feel like you're neglecting them like that is not your intention but it's just that you're so busy in your own world that maybe you're not able to give time to your family friends and all of that i see somebody's looking at you from far and they want to reach out to you but this person thinks that you are not available right because you're so busy this could be friends family or whatever so yeah i see that you're wholeheartedly dedicated towards your work finance and just like trying to get to the next level and you're very busy like super super busy <laughs> the page of cups there could be a good news coming in for some of you uh you're also becoming very very creative as what i see like you're tapping into your creativity you're honing your skills you're working upon things you're very passionate some of you you literally feel like a rejuvenated sense of passion back in your life and all of this is actually building a momentum for you and you're going to go to the next level i see that suddenly in next 2 to 8 months like for different people it's going to be different timeline and also depends on how much hard work you're doing because if you're one of those taurus is not doing the hard work then this is not for you right this is for people who are doing the hard work eight of pentacles is somebody who's working hard so you see how this old man is working on the pentacle similarly the tauruses that are honing their skills working on things then i see your life is definitely going to take up and it's going to happen like suddenly you're going going to go from one level to the next and you'll be like yes this this was what i was waiting for you know all right give me some love messages for taurus please not message for taurus wow so we have so many cards here we have first of all the 3 of sword then king of cups and the 9 of pentacles i see somebody wants to fix things with you and this is the same person who has hurt you in some capacity 
So maybe, I don't know, maybe you were waiting for them to express things you might have expressed, they did not uh, pay much attention. King of Cups is definitely somebody who tries to play it very, very safe. So I see this person was like dropping you hints and then when you approach them, they backed off, you know, something like that. And I see this person is now realizing what a mistake they made because they are seeing that you are just becoming more and more abundant each day. And this person is also seeing how you're just by yourself, you're working on yourself, you're getting your shit together. And now this person is having their eye on you and they, they are kind of feeling like how much their life will be different if they'll be with you. It's not like in an exploitative sense, but like they are realizing your self-worth basically, you know, Taurus, like this person was taking you very lightly. They thought that you're just another chick or a man or whatever, but now they realize you're not, you know, and that's what the King of Cups is. This person was like a little confused about you. They were trying to keep you like a safe option. And now they realize how much of a mistake they've made by pushing you away with the Three of Swords. You know, this person has hurt you and now they want to fix things with you. And I see they will be trying to do that, right? However, you are just like, yeah, see, Three of Cups, I'm telling you, like somebody is realizing how their life could be so different if, if they, they are with you. Because you are such a happy-go-lucky soul working on your own self-development. Every time this person comes into your contact, their life also, you know, like seem positive and you just bring in some sense of positivity and they feel like you are the one who can like pull them from darkness. Whoever you're dealing with, this person has been through something very dark in their own life which has made them very pessimistic and to an extent toxic and narcissist also but like being with you they just get a different perspective of life and they cherish you for that you know that's what i say this person thinks that you are the only person who can like uh pull them out of their darkness you know yeah so somebody's looking here to fix things with you some of you also feel there are multiple options because three of cups speaks about options right so there could be more than one option, um, could be water sign, earth sign that's interested in you, there could be Leo that's interested in you, right? People are looking at you as someone who's very abundant, very go-getter and, you know, somebody who's just like a lot about passion and somebody who's very driven in life, you know? What is Taurus's challenge here in the situation? What do Taurus need to take care of? What's the challenge? Six of sword. <laughs> Your challenge is to basically um, get out of a toxic situation. I feel like you know something is not working for you and you know, like you need to leave something behind or um, you need to be more trusting of yourself. But the problem is it's like you are going forward, but then, you know, it's like you also overthink situations, right? Six of sword is you not able to move forward completely, you know? And somehow, like physically, you are moving forward in life, but mentally you still feel blocked because there is something which is very heavy um, on your chest. And that's why maybe this card of self-acceptance. Some of you, you really need to accept like some things cannot happen for you or some things are meant for you, you know, and the bird outside is giving the confirmation. <laughs> so I see that um, the six of sword the blockage that you feel like you're not able to move forward or you know all of this is just a mental block and all of this is going to get removed when you get into self-acceptance mode some of you your life has taken turns a lot of things have changed in your life some people are not part of your life anymore because they were toxic and you had to leave them behind physically you did leave them behind but mentally they are still on your mind because you're not accept not able to accept it so you need to work upon that right get into the self-acceptance mode that some people will never be part of your journey and there's other people much better coming into your life to be a part of your journey this looks more like friends or maybe you know like people that you work with world card see like change is the only constant wow like this is so good we have the world card and then the fool card here literally going from zero to 21 so this card here is telling you that change is the only constant in life. You have to keep moving regardless of who is coming with you. And this is your block. And Taurus people are like very caring people and they feel really hurt when somebody betrays their trust. And some of you I see that your trust has been betrayed over and over again in the past that you're not able to forget that. No matter how much you've grown in your life, there is still something which makes you feel very icky when you look back in the past and you're like, why did this person do this to me? You know? I didn't deserve that and all of that. So like a lot of grudge, a lot of mental block is still persistent. Some of you, you need to do cord cutting. 
meditation or maybe forgiveness meditations, right? You need to understand that life goes on. One cycle ends and the other starts simultaneously and you have to go with the flow, right? All right, give me this person's next action towards Taurus, whoever is coming towards Taurus, please. What are the next actions? Two of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is imagining their family with you. Somebody is looking forward for marriage and long term. Two of Cups and Ten of Pentacles, like this is literally the best combination. Somebody thinks that you can be their be all end all. Uh, don't be surprised if again, next two to ten months, you get a marriage proposal. Like this person here is not for relationship. They'll talk about marriage and long term and kids and family and all of that. Somebody definitely thinks that you could be a father or a mother to their child. They want to have a family with you. Uh, they want this equal give and take relationship with you. Somebody is thinking that you can be definitely their be all end all. However, you are very distant again because you have some mental blocks in this self acceptance that you need to practice. It's like love is around you, but you're just trying to keep a safe distance. You know, you're not as interested. Some of you, you're not even interested because you feel like this proposal did not come at the time when you wanted it and now when it is coming in you don't have time for it because you're so busy in other things right the hanged man you can decide otherwise later on you 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 know regret like if if it, if you want love and if love is coming you coming towards you then you need to make a decision instead of pushing it away you know you need to work upon your subconscious blocks that you're still carrying from your past which is not letting you accept people and allow people in your life. All right, so you need to make a choice, definitely. You're not able to make a choice and now it's high time that you do. And how will you be able to make a choice? By self-acceptance. And for your career and finances, I definitely see you manifesting good stuff, big stuff. Definitely, you're moving to the next level. I see you expanding next three to seven, three to eight months. It will be very good for you, right? new venture new ways of making money new people especially mentors you know and all of that and lately i also feel that you've realized your self-worth that's why not selling yourself short like you're not entertaining fuck boys you want to be in a relationship but you're just not going to entertain anybody like you have to set some really high standards for what kind of people you're going to allow in your life which is good but then don't be blocked right don't try to confuse your standards with your subconscious block right don't do that all right, give me a message for Taurus, please. What is happening for Taurus? Stay optimistic about your love life and passion. I'm telling you. Some of you, you need to be more optimistic, as I was saying. You know, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. The problem is not shortage of options. I see you have options in love. There are multiple people interested. I don't know if you're aware. But the problem is you're not optimistic about love as you used to be, you know, because there's this lack of self-acceptance. I see somebody is very passionate towards you. <laughs> like super passionate there could be children involved in the situation or somebody is behaving like a child i don't know you must be knowing uh, some of you might have a child and i already said to you that somebody is looking at you as a potential parent to their child you know like they want to have kids with you they want to have family with you give me a message for taurus please i have trust issues this is you taurus this is you you have trust issues this is the thing that we've been talking about you need to fix that otherwise you miss on to a very good connection what do we do now you're confused you don't know will you stay with me in my struggles some of you you have doubts if somebody is going to be part of your struggles you're like okay right now i'm doing well and i'm very abundant so this person wants to be in my life but will this person stay with me in my struggles too so these are the kind of uh, thought patterns you're having right now you're very skeptical when it comes to accepting somebody was there something i could have said to make it better somebody's thinking how can they make it better for you like this person thinks that if they come to you with something you might not accept so now they are like what do i say to taurus that it becomes better for taurus some of you this person might have already said something to you which was not good not pleasant and now they're trying to as i said you know somebody's kind of regretting the way they've treated you in the recent past and now they are like what can i say differently so that taurus does not judge me and accept me you know you got somebody in your thoughts give me message for taurus to close off the reading please give me a message so we have prosperity and abundance like was this not the same thing that i was telling throughout the reading definitely see you going to the next level and then bottom is affirmations for healing and heart healing the heart 
some of you really need to like unblock your heart chakra uh, your throat chakra you know because you have big trust issues and all of this is stemming from some sort of trauma from the past and then we have prosperity and abundance like you're literally making banks bitches you're making good money definitely definitely a lot of money coming in like don't be even surprised you've been working hard you're getting it some of you this card number is 33 so you might be seeing a lot of three three threes that's another confirmation for you so let me read out the message for you here this card is suggestion that you count your blessings the universe is telling you that you have whatever you need and probably much of what you want if you're asking about a project or a goal of some kind the answer is almost certainly yes it will be success but most importantly it's a symbol of what you already have and a reminder to appreciate it some of you you need to be more appreciative of your abundance and prosperity that you already have because if you will appreciate you'll have more of it right so show gratitude for what you already have and you will see it coming over and over again to you all right that was a very beautiful reading hope this helps and resonate if it does make sure you subscribe like share comment i will see you very soon in the next video and a very happy birthday once again and yeah see you guys uh later you guys take care bye bye